welcome to my channel. Koya says hi. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so today I'm going to talk about why I moved to the UK, specifically Liverpool. You don't know what UK is, basically it means United Kingdom and part of United Kingdom has England and like Wales and like Scotland and Northern Ireland yeah I think that's right yeah but I'm in England and in England I'm in Liverpool which is like north northwest-ish we're like in the coastal side so we're like up there but to the side yeah that's that's my definition of like Liverpool <laughs> those whom I have not known, I'm here because of university. I'm actually studying um, at the University of Liverpool and I'm majoring in occupational therapy and it's an undergraduate for three years. So this is my second year. It's a health science course which trains me to be an occupational therapist. Duh. So it's a three year course and I graduate next year. Inshallah. So basically, occupational therapy is a form of service or therapy where we help people do what they want to do. So in terms of occupation, we think of, we think of jobs, your role and your responsibility. And we as occupational therapists help you find things that you want to do and help you to work towards being functional and independent Basically, we help people do the things that they want to do. Yeah. There's just so many things. Occupational therapy is so cool. A fun fact, those who know me personally from work, you know the reason why I chose occupational therapy, right? That's right. That's... Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> How do you manage to stay diligent when you're in a foreign country? Does it not feel like a holiday for you? Every day is holiday. No, I'm kidding. Um, honestly, right, comparing like the Singapore's education to the UK's education system, the people here make you enjoy studying, so that's a plus. I don't find it burdensome to go to school, I only find it burdensome when there are essays. But like, learning-wise, it's a really fun experience. But on the flip side, it's not really like a holiday because I have to get this bread. <laughs> I have grades to keep up. So, how has it been so far living here in Liverpool for the past one and a half years? It's a really good city to live in because it's pretty small, so everything's within reach. But on the flip side, there's not much entertainment or like things to do outside. So I'm basically like either in uni or at home by myself watching Netflix or like Korean dramas. I'm currently watching um, the Netflix new drama with Lee Jong Soo and Na Young, I think, I don't know, but Lee Jong Sook. Romance is a bonus book, go check that out. Good drama. Lee Jong Sook, last drama before he enlists into the military. <sighs> Liverpool, Liverpool's such a small city. Everything's within reach, I can go anywhere I want, by foot, within the city centre and like back. And yeah, and school's about like 10 minute power walk, 15 minute stroll. And Liverpool is, yeah, Liverpool is pretty chill compared to Singapore, like, Singapore is like so happening. Liverpool is like, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah. And how's the weather in Liverpool? So, weather currently, it's winter. As much as I like snow, I don't like cold. And I aim to be as warm as a toasty burrito as much as I can. So most of the time, you'll find me under the covers of my sleep mode, of my blanket, cover, quilt, cover. Yeah, like, what is sleep mode in English? Bilingual brain not working. Okay. And yeah, I was here last year for summer. Summer was pretty, summer is pretty hot. Like, it's scalding hot. But it's not sweaty hot, if you know what I mean. So it's bearable. And like, I've been trained all my life to withstand sweaty hot. So scalding hot is nothing. Yeah. 
but sun is always great like when it's sunny it's super sunny and it's super nice on your skin um, fall fall is very pretty fall fall or autumn spring summer fall winter fall uh, fall fall is autumn fall is gorgeous the leaves are so pretty and it's windy but it's still sub it's still a bit um hot so it's really nice it's really one of my favorite seasons I think. spring spring is so pretty you'll see you'll know when one spring is here when you see so many flowers like blooming all over the place and i'd say spring is my favorite season spring fall winter summer yeah um food <laughs> As you all know, I'm a Muslim, hence the hijab. And as a Muslim, I eat food that are halal. And by halal, it basically means that it's slaughtered according to an Islamic way. Like halal. Halal. Basically, like, there's only one supermarket that has halal meat. I'll do like a delivery once in two months just to get meat because I'm only one person so I don't really eat that much. In terms of eating out, there are your standard Arab shop la, like kebab la, uh, Turkish food la, meze la, shish kebab, fried chicken, Nazis is the best halal place. It's fried chicken. But yeah, just just because like eating out is not really an option. It's just not everyday for me, you know, for sure. On like a student budget, it's not realistic at all. Entertainment. Entertainment in Liverpool is cinema, pubs, clubs, parks, museums. That's about it. There's no like um, arcade or like uh, Pasamalam. Also, again, if you know me, that's why I always go for concerts out of Liverpool. This year, I've been to one concert that was Crush. All, all I can remember is that in year two, which is now, every month I'm going to at least one concert. And all these concerts are either in Manchester or in Lip in London. Because nobody ever comes to Liverpool. So yeah. Concerts. Concerts are the form of entertainment that I enjoy. Besides from K dramas and BTS. <laughs> concerts. Accommodation. So, welcome to my crib. I currently stay in a studio. So it's studio basically means I have everything in my in this space. I have my kitchen. I have my toilet. I have my bed. I have my cupboard. I have my study desk and some storage. That's about it. That's about it, really. How much clothes is too much? Fun fact. I came here to Liverpool last last year with two luggages worth 60 kilos, 30 kilos each and I only bought like a few pieces of clothes because one and a half, I have two luggages but one and a half luggage is just filled with food and shampoo and pillows and blankets. I was damn stupid packing for uni last last year when I first came. It was like, I mean like I brought a lot of food but I shouldn't have brought like all these blankets because like I can buy it here but my mom is like no 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 you must bring this if not later uh, over there very hard to find. Then you sleep then you got no time to buy then you sleep in the cold. It's true lah but like it's nice. It's thanks to my mom, the first night that I came to Liverpool, I could sleep on a well, comfortable bed because I brought all my pillows and my blankets and everything. But I didn't have enough clothes, but it didn't, it didn't matter because there's Primark for a reason, so I bought a lot of clothes there. I didn't really bring much clothes because I knew I could buy more stuff here. Um, how do I get used to the time zone here? time zones between Singapore and UK currently is plus 8 hours. Singapore is 8 hours ahead of Liverpool. I contact um, my family members, my sister and my mom, uh, every other day. And we usually chat like when it's 3pm here, so it's like 11ish, 
ish p.m. ish here there. So that works out well. So I'm gonna wrap this video up with five pros of living by myself. Number one, I get to eat whatever I want. Like literally, I, if I feel like eating kimchi fried rice for the next three days, that's what I'm gonna eat. Number two. I can do things at my own pace, i.e. cleaning. I don't have somebody breathing my, down my neck to do my, um, to tell me to do my chores because I will do it by myself. Number three, I get to learn about budgeting. Because like living on your own, you have, you're given this lump sum of money and you're supposed to plan out how much you're supposed to spend, how much you're supposed to set aside for savings or emergency or traveling. And it's a really big challenge for me because, um, I really suck at uh, budgeting. But I think I'm getting there. Yeah, so money managing, like I've learned ways to manage my money. Although it's a work in place because, yeah, I'm not really good at it, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Number four, I can have friends over to chill and do stuff and play, to eat, or watch dramas or whatever, so that's nice. Number five, peace. Some days, it's just really nice to just have total silence. You don't get that much if you live in a flat in Singapore because it's damn noisy. So it's nice. And the fact that I stay in a basement is even more quieter. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's why I moved to the UK.